All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Friday, the 2nd of March. Getting ready to take down a bunch of 82 Bordeaux this evening at our sold out Bordeaux vertical tasting, our horizontal tasting. We've got our third B for you this week coming up, folks, as I promised. For some reason, all my favorite wines start with a B. We started out with Burgundy and then Barolo and now Brunello de Montalcino, the little brown one. And uh, this is a, a very hot topic here at the Wine Watch around this time of year because these wines are just released, the new release. They're held for five years, one of the longest uh, of all the wines today, held back by law. And February every year they're released, so they start to trickle in and we get to start tasting these wines. The 2007s have been very highly anticipated, another killer vintage for Montalcino following 2006, 2005s were very good, 2004s, outstanding, 2003, uh, not so much, 2002, not so much at all, 2001, outstanding, so and it's easier to keep track of the not so good vintages in Montalcino because just 2002 was a wash, 2003 was good for some people. 2005, I think it's very good, but uh, the lesser of all the vintages that have been released thus far this decade. All right, well, uh, one of our favorite producers, Castello de Romatorio, he developed a little friendship with Filippo Chia, the next generation, Sandro Chia, his father, one of the most famous li contemporary artists living today in Italy. He started out, uh, well, in New York City, the Guggenheim Museum commissioned him, and uh, he met Andy Warhol and all kind of these other, you know, cool people back in the day at this time in New York City. And, you know, we've uh, got pretty friendly with Filippo. He told us uh, some pretty cool stories. The last time he was in town for a dinner of how he's got paintings that Andy Warhol did of him as a child. How cool is that to have paintings at home that were painted of you as a child that Andy Warhol did? How much do you think those are worth? Well, anyways, Sandro was serious not only about the paintings and labels on his bottles, but more serious about what was inside the bottles. In 1984, he bought this huge castle on the northwest corner of Montalcino in the Val d'Orcia, and uh, just overlooking the township of Montalcino, and this uh, huge fortress uh, he started re renovating and putting the best winemaking equipment uh, available, uh, all you know, the latest technology, but still respecting the old world traditions. Ha hired, of course, Top Gun Carlo Farini to make the wine and consult in the vineyards. And uh, since day one, he has been making some outstanding wine. It's amazing that we can offer this 2007 $59 on our pre-sale today? Are you kidding me? The price has gone up on this a little bit. But hey, that's what happens when you're the number one wine in the London International Wine Challenge. The thousands of wines uh, that are come into that every year. Hey, we pick that wine out number one here at the Wine Watch. First, Filippo, just want to let you know that. If you remember, all right, we still have three liters and magnums of the 2004 Reserva killer juice. But hey, today we're talking about 2007. This wine sees a bit of barrique, so it is a more modern style Brunello. But uh, you notice that little toasty oak spice on the nose, but lovely ripe cherry fruit, uh, black tar, some licorice, some really classic notes you get from Montalcino, and a lot of ripe cherry and wild strawberry like fruit on the tongue. A host of tannins, even though this wine's been released, you know, held back for five years before release, still needs another 10 or 15 years in your cellar and uh, some lovely toasty oak spice also coming through on the finish along with some of that Tuscan terroir beautiful stuff most excellent juice on sale on our pre-sale for 59 bucks check it out along with everything else available from Kellos Castello de Romatorio I'm your host Andrew Lampassoni signing off for the wine watch saying remember always drink the good stuff first